In this video, we are going to look at uh, straight lines and uh, where they come from. So when we're talking about a linear relationship, we're talking about a straight line. So there's four types here. Negative slope, positive slope, a zero slope, or an undefined. These are all considered linear relationships. So we've got a table of values here, and we're going to determine will this table of values, if we graph it, form a straight line. So what we've got here is we're talking about the x values. This is going to be our run left to right, and we've got y values, we're talking about rise here. That's up and down. So as you might recall, our slope formula is equal to a rise over a run. So our y value is divided by our x values. Now you notice here our x values are changing in this case by two every time. That's pretty consistent. That's good. And uh, we need to do the same thing for our y. So how are they changing? So we're going from here, we are going up by five. Go here to here, we're going up by five. And when we see this repeating pattern in the y column going up by five each time, we're going to be able to determine our slope here. And uh, when this repeats itself, we're going to have a linear relationship. So this is going to be linear. That is me spelling linear not very well. Anyway, our slope, our y changed by five, our x changed by two. And so that's going to be our slope. Slope is equal, well, it's still five over two. Let's do it again. Uh, our x values are changing consistently, which is good. They're also going up by twos. What about our y values? Well, from three to two, we're again going up by five. Again, this example, we're going up by five. So it's going to actually look a lot the same. We've got a rise over a run, our y over our x. So this time we've got five over two. And uh, again, our slope is going to equal five over two. Let's take a look at one more here. Again, we're going to do our rise over our run. So you'll notice that our x's are going up by 1, and that's usually what you'll find with examples. They're usually going to go up by plus 1. From here to here, we're going down by 4. From here to here, we are going down by 9. Uh, from here to here, we're going up by 2. We've already got a pattern that is not repeating. When this pattern does not repeat, we do not have a linear relationship. So this one is not linear. I cannot go ahead and figure out what my slope is because I don't have a consistent y value. I cannot put that on the top here for my rise because I don't know what it is. It's all over the place. So for this example, it is not linear. It will not form a straight line when we graph it. It's going to be some kind of curve.